for me and my family. To get the help you need, all you have to do is call 800-488-5000. Two mothers fighting a battle that's a matter of life and death for their children. The disease which can be fatal is a form of muscular dystrophy called Duchenne. But with the help of what they call a miracle drug, they say their sons have a fighting chance. The only obstacle? The FDA. Here with more is Jen McInerney, the Director of Outreach and Advocacy for the Jet Foundation, and Christine McSherry, the CEO of the Jet Foundation and co-founder of the International Duchenne Alliance. Welcome to both of you. Thank you so much for being with me. Christine, I want you to tell me more about this disease, what we know about it, and what the cure might be. Yeah, so Duchenne muscular dystrophy is a progressive muscle wasting disorder. Um, my own son, Jet, was diagnosed when he was five years old. And since that time, um, he has progressed to become a quadriplegic, essentially. Uh, it, it, the muscles waste away, and children typically die by the time they're uh, 20 years old. And it's about one in 3,500 male births. Wow. So uh, not a ton of kids out there, all boys being hit here. Jen, tell us the story of your family. What's happened? Okay, so about two and a half years ago, um, I was sitting with two children who were dying of Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Austin was 13 and Max was 10. And um, we were lucky enough that Max qualified because he was still ambulatory for a clinical trial, a very small trial of 12 boys in the United States for a new drug to treat Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Um, Austin, his older brother, did not qualify because he was already non-ambulatory. Um, at this point, I have a 12-year-old, um, Max, who is on this drug and has been for two and a half years, and he is um, not using a wheelchair at all anymore. He is running and jumping. I mean, it really is a miraculous recovery from this disease, and it has completely halted the progress of the disease, so he is no longer getting worse. How did he manage to get a hold of this drug? Because it's, it's not approved by the FDA, right? Yeah, so no, that, that's the whole problem. It's not approved by the FDA yet. It's in a clinical trial, um, which means the children are testing out a new drug. It's in a phase 2B. So literally they pick children that fit the criteria, and there were 12 kids in the United States that fit that criteria wow. and were able to get into the trial, and so, Max was one of them. So my understanding, Christine, is that the FDA was on the road to approving it, looked like it was imminent, and then backed away. What happened? Yeah, we still are very unclear about what happened. Um, what I really know for sure is it did look like it was on its way to be potentially approved so that my son, Jet, could get it and Austin could get it and thousands of little boys out there could potentially have their lives changed by this drug. And then it was just simply halted. And actually, it's, it's cost us more time, um, probably another year's worth of time, uh, in our fight. Um, and we just don't have any time. We're done. We have, we have worked with the FDA for over a year now, and we're not getting the answers that we want. We ask the questions all the time, every day. We've met with them. We have phone calls with them. What is going on? What is the holdup? And we're not getting the answers back. We ca I can't tell you what is going on. Jen, what happens to these boys if they don't get the treatment? Well, Austin um, is at a position right now where he is already non-ambulatory, and since the start of the trial, as his brother got better, he is losing the ability to use his hands. Um, he's a drummer in the marching band, and if he doesn't get the drug soon, he'll no longer be playing the drums, feeding himself, hugging me, um, and eventually, um, you know, Christine's son Jet is 18 and life expectancy is early 20s, so Jet will die in the very near future. Um, there are other boys who will lose ambulation while the FDA struggles to decide what the right path is with this this drug that has kept, you know, my son my older or my younger son on his feet. So kids will stop walking, kids will stop being able to feed themselves and kids will die if they keep holding this it up. It feels like the, the FDA, you know, we're burying children and it feels like they have this carrot dangling in front of us as parents and we just can't get it. So instead we just bury children and we watch them go non-ambulatory and have their lives change forever. This drug is history in the making. It's an entirely new class of drugs and it's not just going to affect those in Duchenne, but it's going to affect all of us. Every parent out there who has a child today needs to think about this issue and how it can impact them um, because there are other genetic disorders that this, this technology will help. Um, so we're, we're trying to pave this with the FDA. It's difficult, but we're trying. We're I, fighting for our kids. I have to tell you, I'm completely impressed with your resolve, both of you. Uh, the two of you are formidable.
Uh, before you go, though, Jen, I want to ask, do these boys understand the stakes in this, in what's going on here? Of course they do. You know, Austin has, has been the one sleeping in a bed next to his brother, watching him get better. And so I've got this kid that, you know, could be the, the, the last child to die from this disease, and his brother could be the first child to survive it. It's absolutely terrifying to Austin as a 15-year-old kid that there is now a treatment for the disease, and he just doesn't have access because his government has not made the choice to save his life. Well, we've been looking at pictures of your children. The boys are beautiful. They really are. And, Thank and you. They we are. appreciate you bringing the story to us. Let us know what happens with your fight with the FDA. We'd like to report it. Stay in touch with us, Jen and Christine, please. We would. We would. But also encourage people to go to the race the race to say yes.org website and sign up on a petition uh, so we can get White House attention to this matter as well. The race to say yes dot org. The race to yes. The race to yes dot org. Yes. Race to yes. Okay, ladies, thanks so much for coming on and sharing your story. Really appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. Goodness. Wow. Poor kids. Well, we have more to come. He couldn't stop going on TV, so now he's going to jail. Do you know this fella? Best-selling author and infomercial king Kevin Trudeau, he spent three decades telling consumers how to lose weight, get rich, or cure virtually any illness without drugs. Now he's going to prison for 10 years. In 2004, the feds ordered him to stop plugging his products on TV, but prosecutors say he wouldn't go away doing 32,000 more infomercials, mainly for his weight loss books. There he is right there. At the sentencing, prosecutors called Trudeau, quote, an unrepentant, untiring, an uncontrollable Huckster, who has defrauded the unsuspecting for 30 years. So, onto our wall of shame, we put Kevin Trudeau, the TV pitchman, and all around Huckster. He belongs there. Still to come, my two cents more, and a new survey shows just how frightened Americans are about paying for health care and retirement. So, how much should we be saving? Let's not be afraid. Don't be afraid. So Ally Bank has a raise your rate CD that won't trap me in a rate. That's correct. Because I'm really nervous about getting trapped. Why is that? Uh, could, could Mark? Don't oh, get out. Oh. I have my reasons. Look, you don't have to feel trapped with our raise your rate CD. If our rate in the CD goes up, yours can too. Oh, that sounds nice. Don't feel trapped with the Ally Raise Your Rate CD. Ally Bank, your money needs an ally. Hey, what are you doing today? I'm backing up the computer. Photos, work files, you name it. Lovely. See you in a few hours. Hmm. Did you get everything backed up? Took care of it. For just $59.99 a year, Carbonite backs up your irreplaceable files automatically, so you don't have to. Try it for free at Carbonite.com. Good health versus bad health. A new study tells you how much your physical well-being could cost you in retirement. Next. All eyes on the president. First, why KT McFarland thinks he won't back up his tough talk on Russia. Plus, this election, the Tea Party wants you. Will voters take up the invitation? Find out tonight on Cavuto. Humans, sometimes life trips us up, sometimes we trip ourselves up, and although the mistakes may seem to just keep coming at you, so do the solutions. Like multi-policy discounts from Liberty Mutual Insurance, save up to 10% just for combining your auto and home insurance. Call Liberty Mutual Insurance at 1-888-541-3788 to speak with an insurance expert and ask about all the personalized savings available for when you get married, move into a new house, or add a car to your policy. Personalized coverage and savings. All the things humans need to make our world a little less imperfect. Call 1-888-541-3788 and ask about all the ways you could save. Liberty Mutual Insurance. Responsibility. What's your policy?
fall into Hilton Head Island today. Rated one of the top 10 family vacation destinations in the United States. Enjoy the island's warm, beautiful weather and clean, sandy beaches. Your stay will be relaxing at Hilton Head's only all-suite hotel, the Park Lane, or upgrade to the luxurious Sinesta Resort. You and your spouse will enjoy one of Hilton Head's popular attractions, such as zip lines, kayaking,